Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Starting off all nice and quiet across the entire Arkhamus. Temperatures have been mainly in the lower 60s and definitely feels nice as soon as you step out. Dew points have been low this morning as well. But with all the sunshine, temperatures will be warming back up to the lower 90s. But because dew points are still low because of those winds out of the north, it's still not going to feel too bad out there pretty much all day long. Here's a live shot out towards the tower place. Tower camera, nice sunshine in the background and blue skies. And it's going to be pretty nice all morning long. Currently 68 degrees in Monroe. Dew points right at 63. And winds have been calm out of the north and northeast. 68 degrees up in Camden, 69 over Monticello. We're at 64 over in El Dorado, and it's also 68 in Ruston. Dew points mainly in the lower to mid 60s. Don't anticipate them to be climbing that much because winds are still going to be out of the north. Matter of fact, a few places down to the south have been mainly in the upper 50s, but they kind of increased a little bit because we do have a funnel boundary that will be pushing in out of the northwest, and that's what's really going to be sparking up our rain chances. Doppler radar is not really tracking anything right now, but a lot of activity going on out ahead of that funnel boundary boundary across Oklahoma and parts of East Texas and that funnel boundary will start pushing in and as a result cloud cover is going to increase our rain chances also increase and once it passes over winds will continue to stay out of the north will kind of reinforce that cooler air that's kind of been in place for a while and it's going to build pretty nice by the middle of this week. Thanks for our cash features comment from Katie Brewer love the American flag definitely a great picture for today being 9-11 and if you got any outdoor plans today even though it's still going to be pretty warm around 91 for four o'clock this afternoon it's it's still not going to be that bad. It's going to be kind of like how this weekend was. We still reached the 90s, but it was a bit more bearable compared to dew points being in the upper 70s near 80, and we had heat advisories. That won't be, will not be the case for the rest of this week. Now, the funnel system starts pushing in, and we'll start to see cloud cover increase across the entire Arklamis. Winds will continue to stay out of the north. We'll see a spark up of showers and even a few thunderstorms across south Arkansas as we go across, across the next couple of days. High pressure starts settling in from the north, but we can still see just offensive even on the back side of that funnel boundary where we can kind of keep rain chances on the board from Wednesday going on to Thursday as well. Looking a bit closer, we'll be mostly clear for much of this afternoon. Temperatures stay mainly in the lower 90s. Cloud cover starts increasing overnight tonight. Kind of kept rain chances around 10% overall during the overnight hours. But early tomorrow morning, we'll start to see a few showers, possibly even a thunderstorm across south Arkansas. And then we'll see a bit patchy activity across portions of northeast Louisiana. But we'll still keep that cloud cover in place, which will allow temperatures to stay mainly in the mid 80s for our daytime highs and then by Wednesday 8 o'clock in the morning we'll see a bit more scattered activity across the entire region but it's not expecting a total washout some places will pick up maybe an inch of rainfall at best but a lot of places half an inch maybe three quarters of an inch if we're lucky but we'll take any rainfall that we can get as drought monitor still shows extreme drought conditions still south of I-20. Now looking at the tropics Hurricane Lee currently out in the Atlantic it's a category three hurricane with winds sustained at 120 miles per hour. It will stretch into category four before taking a northerly track and weakening some as it kind of straddles the eastern seaboard, which will cause rip currents and issues with tidal waves and stuff like that out in that direction. But not expecting any uh, major landfall anytime soon. Spending a day to high 92 degrees for this afternoon as it stays sunny and warm. Tonight we'll see a low of 70 degrees. Clouds will be increased, but rain chances around 10%. And for tomorrow, we'll reach high 90, mostly cloudy, with a chance of a few stray showers. And then we'll see rain chances increase for Wednesday and Thursday, keeping that mid-80 trend. And we'll warm back up to the upper 80s as we head into this weekend.